Two years ago, we decided to take three days and build this beast of a car that I'm sitting in right now called Stainless A. While we showed the world how fast we could build cars, we didn't show them the quality that My Shop Village Customs could do. So six months ago, we decided to revisit the project, tear the whole thing down, rebuild everything, and really make it what it is today. So first off, the car was awesome, the wheels were terrible. So one of the first things that we did was call up our friends at Detroit Steel and they sent us these 22 inch wheels. So the car is called Stainless A. Obviously everything we want to do is stainless and the reason is because it has a whole stainless chassis under it. It's one of our Village Customs chassis. But we decided to polish the exhaust, polish the, uh, all the manifolds and the headers and then we actually polished the whole frame underneath and did uh, accents using silicon bronze all up and down it. So everything's tigged in stainless and then it's overlaid in silicon bronze. Added an awesome touch to it. So I didn't mind the black on the car. It was a little bit boring and I absolutely hated the maroon stripe. It was terrible. So I called my friend up, John from After Hours Tattoo in Pennsylvania. He came down for a long weekend, did all of this, painted the whole thing. I think it's five different coats of paint, went back, sanded, dry brushed, all kinds of stuff. Made this thing look awesome now. We decided to pull the stock motor out that we had done with the twin turbos. We sent it back to Maxed Out Garage. The guys pulled it all apart, cleaned it up, uh, put a turbo cam in, put bigger injectors in, gapped the rings, and sent it back to us. So we use Iron Age seats all the time for our build, so why change something? They fit very good in these little tiny cars and the Model A's. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of room, so they sent us a set of these little bucket seats right here. Came out great, really made the insides look awesome. So originally we had put 18 gauge down for, this, for the floor. Uh, we built the car in three days. There wasn't a whole lot of time to break up the bead roller and do a bunch of detailed work. So what we decided to do is go back and add wood over top and uh, trim panels do a lot of stain work, a little bit of burning, and make it look really cool. So while I knew we would go back and revisit every single inch of this car, I didn't realize how amazing it was gonna turn out. We really did the best we could do, and this is the nicest thing that my shop has produced. Until the next one. <laughs>